Last March, Minister Haiju appointed an expert task force, co-chaired by Kwame McKenzie, Carol Hopkins, Mike Sir, and we thank them and the whole task force for their truly important recommendations. Their May and June reports called for bold action and significant policy change. Today, we take the first steps in the much needed bold action and significant policy change. After thoroughly reviewing this exemption request and carefully considering the public health and public safety impacts, today I am here to announce that I will be granting British Columbia's exemption request. As of January 31st, 2023, adults 18 and over in British Columbia will no longer be subject to criminal charges for the possession of up to 2.5 grams of certain illegal drugs for personal use, and the drugs will not be confiscated. Minister Malcolmson and I want to be very clear. This is not legalization. We have not taken this decision lightly. We have been working with the province over the past months to ensure that their final application was able to meet the criteria necessary for Canada to be able to grant a province-wide Section 56 exemption to the Canadian Drug and Substances Act. This time-limited exemption is the first of its kind in Canada, and with it comes great responsibility. While approving this request is significant, it must be seen as one additional tool to be used in the ongoing comprehensive response to the crisis. Since 2017, we have taken significant actions and made investments over $800 million to address the overdose crisis and substance use related harms. And today, as part of our government's commitment to support access to a comprehensive range of services and supports and making quality treatment, prevention and harm reduction services accessible across the country, I am pleased to announce that an additional $11.78 million in federal funding for 14 pro projects through Health Canada's Substance Use and Addictions Program right here in British Columbia.